It's on that day, waking up, he knew that he was going to start winning in life. Because everything that he did from that point forward was to focus on his goals and his dreams. He was going to go into every day knowing he gave his all and he wasn't going to live anymore with regrets. Let me ask you guys a question. When you were seven or eight years old, riding a bike, it didn't matter who was around you. You'd fall down, you'd get back up. It didn't matter what people people thought about it, what people said about it. When did that mentality change in the world? People just started caring too much, giving into fear too much, not getting out there and doing what they were made to do. If you guys were able to fear, come in and dictate what you are doing for your life, working a nine to five every day, working for someone else instead of your own dreams, you gotta get out there, do what you're meant to do. do this hike yesterday, but I saw a chance of rain at 2 o'clock, <clears throat> so I used that as an excuse to hit the snooze button to sleep in, and ultimately all I did was set myself back a day, could have did something better today, yeah, I went to the gym, two and a half hours, gave 100% like I always do, but it wasn't my goal for the day, so I failed, set a goal for yourself every day, and fuck it. giving in to excuses. People will call you weird. People will call you an idiot. The difference between me and the 97%? I don't give a fuck. That's the mentality you gotta have. You just not care. If you want something, get out and go get it. Don't let nothing stop you. you guys something pretty hard to hear. The fear of failure cannot, should not, and will not, let me repeat, cannot, should not, and will not outweigh the pain of regret. So in 30 years looking back, don't have those regrets because you overcame the fears when you were younger, able to do it, able to push through. the hate, push through anything, doesn't matter, you're able to just push through and not have any regrets later on, because that pain, it will burn you, last job I was at, I was there for about six months, I was able to, able to save up about 10 grand, some people call me crazy for leaving, but the issue was, I was mentally not okay, I fucked with my head, if I stayed there, yeah, I would have got more money, but at what price? You have to listen to your body when it's talking to you. You have to do things to better yourself, not work for other people and help better them daily. casting a shadow that's holding you back from succeeding in life. I'll tell you what it is. It's fear. Fear of the unknown. Worrying about what other people think. How people are going to interpret it. How your family's going to interpret it. But it doesn't matter. What matters is putting yourself first. Setting goals every day and achieving them. If you do that, give 110% every day. You'll be winning in life.
knock you down 3,000 times. It's not relevant as long as you get up 3,001. Just gotta get up from what life throws at you. Persist through it. It doesn't matter what it is. six and a half hours of sleep. I had a goal of two times. Why would I let up on that? What excuse would make me give up on this? I'm still at 95%. First time did nothing to me. No reason to stop. Keep on pushing. I want you guys to write down the three biggest obstacles in your life right now. For each, each thing that's, that's an obstacle, write down a goal of how you're going to get past it. Could be a week, could be a month set goals to how you can get rid of your obstacles. That way you can fully live your life the way you want to.
gonna try to turn around and go back down. No, I can do it. I'm just gonna have the faith in myself. I'm gonna keep pushing myself. No reason to stop. Back at the car, guys. So yeah, I had a uh, older couple up there. I had a conversation with them. It kind of went like this. So she said to me, is there something special going on that I don't know about? And I'm like, well, you know, any day can be special if you make it. And the guy she was with had said something. And um, it's honestly, I think he meant it to be facetious and he was kind of just being rude. But I, I, it's honestly, it's truer than he thinks. He said, yeah, we got to find the inner clown in ourselves. And that's the issue with today is that people don't, they don't have aspirations, they don't hit their goals because they're scared of failure. If they would just push on and find their inner clown, whether that be being an astronaut, a doctor, um, whatever they want to be, they can do it. They just got to push through. So yeah, all I can say guys is just be humble, stay active, and just get after it. And as the guy says, find your inner clown. Take care guys, peace.